hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 4 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equals to 91 and we solve this problem for the values of x so here uh, first we just multiply and divide the exponent of these two terms by 3 and it will be written as 4 to the power of x and its exponent is 3 divided by 3 and plus similarly we multiply and divide the exponent of this term is also 3 and it will become 3 to the power of x and its whole power is 3 over 3 is equals to 91 and here we use the nice uh, exponential law and you know about this law here we move this 1 over 3 inside the term and it will become 4 to the power of x over 3 and its whole power 3 plus similarly in this case we get 3 to the power of x over 3 and its whole power 3 is equal to 91. Now we convert this exponential equation into the cubic form. For this, uh, we just take here uh, a is equal to 4 to the power of x over 3 and b is equal to 3 to the power of x over 3. So when you put these two values into the above equation, it will be written as a cubed plus b cubed is equal to 91. So here we apply the cubic formula into the left hand side and it will becomes a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square is equals to uh, this is 91. So here is, we need to make the factors of right hand side and mm, the factors of right hand side are this is 91 here you remember into the question statement is that we just solve this problem for positive integer solutions of x okay so for positive solution uh, of uh, uh, x here we just first get the positive integer uh, in which the product of these two positive integer is 91 so the possibilities are first case is 1 times of 91 is 91 second case is uh, 7 times of 13 is also equals to 91 okay so we divide over this question into the uh, these two cases and our first case is we write here a plus b is equal to 1 and a square minus a b plus b square is equals to 91. So here first we find the value of a from this case and this is b is equals to 1 minus a we call this is equation number 1 and we put this value of b in this equation and it will becomes a square minus a b the value of b is 1 minus a plus b square the value of b is 1 minus a square is equals to 91 here we need a little bit simplifications and it will becomes a square minus a plus a square and here we have 1 plus when you multiply when you expand this term it will becomes 1 plus a square minus 2 a we move 91 into the left hand side it will becomes minus 91 and this whole equation is equals to 0. Here we have a square plus a square plus a square equals to 3a square minus a minus 2a becomes minus 3a. 1 minus 91 becomes minus 90 is equals to 0. Here we divide each of these terms by 3 on both of the sides. So this is cancelled out each other. This is also and this is 3 times 3 is 9 and 0. So we obtained a square minus a minus 30 is equals to 0. Here we need to break the middle term and after breaking its middle term it will becomes a square minus 6a and plus 5a minus 30 is equals to 0. Here we get common a and we have a times a minus 6 plus 5 times of a minus 6 is equals to 0. And further in the next step, we get the factors of this equation are a minus 6 times of a plus 5 is equal to 0. So we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write uh, a is equal to 6 and from here we get a is equal to minus 5. So you get the value of a is negative. So we rejected this case because we solved this problem for only positive integer values. Okay. So we reject this case and when you put this value of a is equal to 6 in equation number 1 so that equation number 1 is implies that equation number 1 is b is equal to 1 minus a okay 
when you put this value here it will become b is equals to 1 minus 6 and you also get the value of b is minus 5 this is also negative so we also rejected this second case okay so this means that that in in case number one we cannot get any positive integer solution and now we move towards our second case and in second case we compare uh, both of these values uh, into uh, these two numbers okay so after comparing uh, the numbers into 7 and 13 we will get here a plus b is equals to 7 and a square minus a b plus b square is equals to 13 so uh, here uh, we find first the value of b from here uh, and it is equals to b equals 7 minus a we call this is equation number 2 and we put this value of b in the second equation on this equation and it will becomes uh, a square minus a b the value of b is 7 minus a plus b square the value of b is 7 minus a square is equals to 13. Here we need to make little bit simplifications it will become a square minus 7 a plus a square plus here we expand this square it will become 49 plus a square minus 14 a and we move 13 to the left hand side it will become minus 13 and this whole equation is equals to 0. Here we add or subtract the like terms we have a square plus a square plus a square becomes 3 times of a square minus 7a minus 14a becomes minus 21a and 41 minus 13 becomes plus 36 is equals to 0. Here we divide each of these terms by 3 on both of the sides so this is cancelled out by each other and we get a square minus this is 3 times 7 becomes 21 we get minus 7a this is 3 times 12 become 36 we get 12 is equals to 0. Here we again make the factors of this equation so we break its middle term it will becomes a square minus 4a minus 3a plus 12 is equals to 0. So here we need to take common a and we get a minus 4 and here we get a common minus 3 and we get a minus 4 is equals to 0. So here we take common a minus 4 and we get the remaining values are a minus 3 is equals to 0. So here we get the value of a is equals to 4 and the second value of a is equals to 3. So in the start of the problem we will take here our a is equals to 4 to the power of we take in the start of the problem a is 4 to the power of x over 3. So when you put this value of a on here it will becomes uh, 4 to the power of x over 3 is equals to 3. So from here you cannot get integer where integer solution uh, so we rejected uh, this case as well okay and uh, from here when you put this value here it will becomes 4 to the power of x over 3 is equals to 4 here we need to compare both of the sides and we get x over 3 is equals to 1 and this implies that x is equals to 3 so this is the positive integer solution of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos